Uh, day two, this one's a lot easier than, uh, I'll be honest with you, a lot easier than day one. And let me make this just a little bit bigger so it's easier for you to see. All right. Now, if you haven't done your homework from last night, we're going to check those answers right here. If you haven't done it yet, like if a sub walks around and sees that a bunch of you don't have it done, I'd appreciate it. They give you a few minutes to get that finished up before we check these. So here it goes. If you haven't paused to, to get the work done, if you haven't got it done, give them some time to do it. Otherwise, uh, here are the answers from last night's assignment. If you want to check those, I'll scroll up here in a second so you can see them a little bit more clearly. But those are just the final answers. They're not all the details that we would look to be seeing, but just some of the basics. And if you want to pause the video so you have more time to check these, that's great. But I'm going to keep on moving just to save me the time. So again, if you want to stop and pause, you're welcome to do so. Today's assignment is a lot like yesterday's. It's just an opportunity for people who tried the homework and had some questions to, to get those questions answered. There's one wrinkle today. So would you please turn to the back side of the sheet that, your you, that the sub has already passed out to you. This would be 11-1, day two. Again, this should be, this is the back side of 11-1, day two. If you're gone yesterday, you need to get some help from the sub today. You should have plenty of time to get caught up. But the instructions say, use the graph to determine the absolute maximum of each function. Now, they've given you a graph on here. You can also use Desmos if you wanted to. And then they want you to describe what the x and the y coordinates of this point represent in terms of the problem. So let's read this example here together. If you would, please follow along. I think this will be a benefit to you, and it's only going to take us a couple minutes. So it says here, a builder is designing a rectangular parking lot. He has 400 feet of fencing to enclose the parking lot on three sides. So let's think about that. So here must be one thing here, and we have a three-sided parking lot that we're going to enclose. A three-sided sided parking lot. And we have 400 feet of fencing. 400 feet of fencing. So if we make this our width, x our width, then this is going to be x as well over here. And then we know that the 300 or 400 feet of fencing has to be taken up by those three sides. So this is going to be 400 minus 2x. By now, this ought to be getting to be pretty automatic, that we are able to draw that picture and not have any issues with it. Now, what's going to be the area? Well, they, they even tell us. They said the area is going to be negative 2x squared plus 400x. They tell us right here, this is going to be the area of that parking lot. And where did that come from? That came from multiplying that x, which was our width, times the 400 minus 2x. That's where this is coming from. If you type this into Desmos, which I already did so you can see it, you see that it graphs as a parabola. We get this big monster parabola. It goes all the way up to like 20, I think 20,000 or something. Obnoxious. Yeah. Okay, so you get that point. But the point up there is 100 comma 20,000. Let's go back to the notes. 100, comma, 20,000. So if we know that we got this point, 100, comma, 20,000, and that's the maximum point on that graph. But what were we graphing? We were graphing the width compared to the area of that enclosure, that parking lot. And this point, 100 comma 20,000, was our maximum point. They want to know, A, what is the maximum point? So for the maximum point, you would just write those coordinates. You'd say that point is the maximum point. But notice, on the example here, they've written out the x-coordinate. What is the x-coordinate? That is the width of that maximum area. It's the width that gives us that maximum area. So it's the width. Again, we're looking back here at the graph. We know that that is the width. So you notice that we've got that written down. We expect you to write it out just like we put in this example. And then they say, what's the y-coordinate for this maximum? What does this 20,000 represent? 
Well, what were we graphing on the y-axis? We were graphing area. So what does this represent? When I have a width of 100, then the parking lot's going to have an area of 20,000 square feet. So when you have x, our x-coordinate of that max is 100 feet, which maximizes area. Then we have a y coordinate of 20,000, and that's square feet, right? Which is the maximum area. So on this back side of the sheet, that you're going to do for tonight. You have number seven and number eight to complete. They've already given you the graphs. All you have to do is identify the coordinates for that maximum point on the graph. And then you need to explain to me exactly what is the X and the Y coordinate, the 100 in this case and the 20,000 in this case. What do those mean? Put them in and make sure you're telling me using those ex explicit words and terminology that I know exactly what you, if you had interpreted, with regard to the, this problem, all right? So for number seven, when you're telling me what X and Y is, you better reference the fact that we're building a pen for ferrets. For number eight, we're talking about a baseball that's being thrown into the air. We're talking about its height. So you better be referencing the baseball when you tell me your answers for number eight. I need detail. You have the remainder of the class period to simply work on this sheet. If you're gone yesterday, you can get the sheet from yesterday done. But when I come back on Wednesday, I want to see both 11-1 day one and 11-2 day two. I'm going to collect these sheets. Please have them completed. And if you're stuck on any of this, I guarantee the sub will be able to help you get caught up. Have a great day, folks, and I'll see you on Wednesday.